The phrase, ACT in such a way that nothing bothers you anymore, reflects a fundamental principle of Stoicism, an ancient Greek philosophy that emphasizes the importance of personal virtue and wisdom as the path to true happiness and a tranquil life. Stoicism teaches that external events are beyond our control and that our responses to these events are what truly matter. Key Principles of Stoicism Relevant to the Query 1. Control versus Uncontrol one of the core teachings of Stoicism is the distinction between what is within our control and what is not. Stoics believe that we should focus our energy on our own thoughts, actions, and reactions, which are within our control, while accepting that we cannot control the actions of others, external events, or the past. This understanding helps reduce frustration and anxiety about things that ultimately lie beyond our influence. The Stoic principle of control versus uncontrol is foundational to achieving a state of serenity where nothing bothers you anymore. This principle involves understanding what aspects of life we can control and what we cannot. By internalizing this distinction, we can significantly reduce our emotional distress and create a more peaceful way of living. Let's delve into this concept in detail. 1. Understanding Control What you can control According to Stoicism, the only things you have complete control over are your own thoughts, beliefs, intentions, choices, and actions. This includes how you perceive situations and how you respond to them. For example, you can control your reactions to criticism, the effort you put into your work, and your attitudes toward others. Personal responsibility, emphasis on control also highlights personal responsibility. You are responsible for your own responses, and this empowers you to choose how you engage with the world. Recognizing that you have agency in your life can be liberating and fosters a proactive rather than a reactive mindset. 2. Understanding Uncontrol What you cannot control, everything outside of your thoughts and actions falls into the category of what you cannot control, including the behavior of others, public opinion, the past, natural events, and many elements of life that are subject to chance or external circumstances. For instance, you cannot control how someone treats you, the outcome of an event, or the actions of a government. The illusion of controllability, many people develop stress because they mistakenly believe they can control more than they actually can. They strive for approval, seek to change others' opinions, or attempt to predict the future, leading to anxiety and frustration when those outcomes do not align with their desires. 3. The Freedom of Acceptance Acceptance of what you cannot control, a crucial step in applying the control versus uncontrol principle is to learn acceptance. This means fully acknowledging and embracing the fact that certain events and external factors are beyond your influence. Stoics encourage practicing acceptance as a way to reduce suffering, by accepting what cannot be changed, you free yourself from the burden of trying to control the uncontrollable. Emotional liberation, acceptance does not mean resignation but rather an acknowledgement of reality that can lead to emotional liberation. By letting go of the need to dictate outcomes outside your control, you can focus your energy and emotions where they matter most, on your own thoughts and actions. 4. Practical Applications Mindful Awareness Cultivating mindfulness enables you to keep a clear awareness of what you can and cannot control. When faced with a stressful situation, pause to identify which aspects you can influence and which you need to relinquish. This practice can help you regain composure. Journaling and reflection, regularly writing about your experiences, your reactions, and separating out what you could control versus what you could not encourages deeper understanding and reinforces this stoic principle. Reframing challenges, when confronted with difficulties, consciously re-evaluate the situation through the lens of control. For example, instead of obsessing over a job loss, which is uncontrol, focus on updating your resume and preparing for interviews, which is within your control. Practicing detachment, train yourself to enjoy outcomes without attachment. Appreciate the process and effort without being overly concerned with the results. This makes it easier to remain unfazed by disappointments or criticisms. 5. Long-Term Transformation 
Developing resilience, over time, understanding and applying the control slash uncontrol framework fosters resilience. You become less reactive to setbacks and able to maintain a sense of inner peace in the face of challenges. Inner calm, with practice, you'll notice that the things that used to bother you start to lose their power. Your emotional state becomes less dependent on external circumstances and more anchored in your own values and choices. Conclusion The control versus uncontrol principle in Stoicism is a powerful tool in the pursuit of a tranquil life. By recognizing what you can control, your thoughts, responses, and actions, and accepting what you cannot control, the actions of others and external circumstances, you begin to detach from distressing events and emotions. This understanding allows you to cultivate a mindset where, ultimately, very little can truly bother you, paving the way to a more peaceful and resilient existence. 2. Emotional resilience, by adopting the stoic mindset, individuals can cultivate a sense of emotional resilience. This means that rather than allowing external circumstances or the opinions of others to dictate your emotional state, you develop the ability to remain calm and composed. This is not about suppressing emotions but about understanding and managing them in a healthy way. Emotional resilience is the capacity to adapt well in the face of adversity, trauma, or significant stress. Practicing emotional resilience allows individuals to maintain their composure and well-being despite external challenges or emotional turmoil. Within the context of Stoicism, developing emotional resilience is essential for achieving mental peace and reaching a state where nothing bothers you anymore. Here's a detailed exploration of emotional resilience and how it can help you remain unfazed by life's challenges. 1. Understanding Emotional Resilience Definition, emotional resilience refers to the ability to manage your emotions, adapt to difficult situations, and bounce back from setbacks. It doesn't mean suppressing your feelings or denying challenges, rather, it involves acknowledging and processing them in a healthy way. Components of resilience Self-awareness, recognizing your emotions, triggers, and responses. Perspective viewing challenges as opportunities for growth rather than insurmountable obstacles. Adaptability, adjusting your thoughts and behaviors in response to changing conditions. Support systems, building connections with others who provide encouragement and perspective. 2. The role of stoicism in building resilience. Accepting emotions, stoicism teaches that emotions are natural and should be acknowledged rather than ignored. Accepting your emotions allows you to process them rather than letting them control you. This practice helps to build resilience because it lessens the fear or discomfort associated with feeling difficult emotions. Rational thinking, Stoics emphasize the importance of rational thought in interpreting events. By applying logic and reason to emotional experiences, you can prevent overwhelming feelings from taking control. Cognitive reframing, interpreting a negative experience in a new light, can create a more balanced emotional state. Mindset of control, understanding what you can and cannot control, as previously discussed, fosters resilience. When you accept that you cannot control external events, you free yourself from the frustration and anxiety associated with trying to do so. This mindset strengthens your emotional foundation and helps you remain steadier under pressure. 3. Cultivating Emotional Resilience To become more emotionally resilient, consider the following strategies. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness techniques, such as meditation and deep breathing, help center your thoughts and emotions. Mindfulness allows you to observe your feelings without judgment, creating space to respond rather than react impulsively. Regular reflection. Journaling is a powerful tool for building emotional resilience. Reflect on your emotions and responses to daily events. This practice can help you identify patterns in your thinking, recognize triggers, and celebrate growth over time. Develop a growth mindset, embrace challenges as opportunities to learn and grow. Understanding that failure is a part of life helps reduce fear around risk-taking and makes it easier to recover from setbacks. Set realistic goals, Break down larger challenges into manageable steps. 
Setting achievable goals allows you to celebrate small wins along the way, which can boost your confidence and reduce feelings of overwhelm. Foster strong relationships, build a support network of friends, family, and mentors. Sharing your experiences and receiving encouragement from others can bolster your emotional resilience. Strong connections provide a sense of belonging and help buffer against stress. Limit exposure to negativity, be mindful of your environment and influence. Identify sources of negativity, whether they are people, news, or social media, and limit your exposure to them. Surrounding yourself with positive influences can enhance your emotional well-being. 4. Developing a stoic attitude towards challenges. View adversity as an opportunity, practice seeing challenges as chances to develop character and strength. This perspective shifts your focus from what you're experiencing to what you can learn from those experiences. Embrace the present moment, focus on what is happening now rather than worrying about the future or dwelling on the past. Living in the present helps reduce anxiety about what may or may not happen, allowing you to respond more effectively to current challenges. Reflect on your values, spend time considering your core values and what truly matters to you. When you align your actions with your values, you cultivate a sense of purpose that can help you navigate difficult times with greater resilience. 5. Long-Term Benefits of Emotional Resilience Greater confidence, as you build emotional resilience, you gain confidence in your ability to handle challenges. This self-assurance can be empowering and help you approach life with a proactive mindset. Improved well-being, resilience is linked to better mental health outcomes. Resilient individuals tend to experience lower levels of stress, anxiety, and depression, leading to a more fulfilling and balanced life. Enhanced problem-solving skills, resilient people develop stronger problem-solving skills as they learn to approach challenges creatively and resource. 3. Practicing Detachment Stoicism encourages a degree of detachment from external outcomes. This does not mean being indifferent or apathetic, rather, it implies that one should not overly invest emotionally in things that are temporary or out of one's control. By practicing detachment, you create a mental buffer that helps you navigate life's challenges without being easily disturbed. Practicing detachment, in the context of stoicism and emotional resilience, is a powerful technique that helps individuals maintain their inner peace and emotional stability. By learning to detach, both from external outcomes and from intense emotional responses to situations, one can achieve a state of calmness where nothing bothers them anymore. Here's an in-depth exploration of what practicing detachment entails, its importance, and practical ways to integrate it into daily life. 1. Understanding Detachment Definition, detachment does not mean indifference or apathy. Instead, it refers to the ability to distance oneself emotionally from specific outcomes, judgments, or the actions of others. It involves observing situations without becoming overly invested in them, leading to increased mental clarity. Stoic Philosophy In Stoicism, detachment is tied to the principle of distinguishing between what is within our control and what is not. It teaches us to engage with life fully but without clinging to the results of our actions or becoming mired in emotional turmoil when things do not go our way. 2. The Importance of Practicing Detachment Reducing suffering, many of our emotional struggles arise from attachment to certain outcomes or the opinions of others. By practicing detachment, we can significantly reduce the suffering caused by disappointment, frustration, or unfulfilled expectations. This leads to greater emotional stability and well-being. Improving Relationships Detachment can improve relationships by allowing you to engage more openly without becoming overly invested in others' perceptions or behaviors. By detaching from the need for approval or validation, you can interact with others from a place of authenticity. Enhanced Decision-Making When you detach from emotional reactivity, you can make decisions based on reason rather than impulsive feelings. This rational approach fosters better judgment and clearer thinking, especially in challenging circumstances. 3. Cultivating Detachment Here are practical strategies to develop and practice detachment. 
1. Identify attachments. Reflect on your attachments, take time to identify what you are overly attached to, this may include material possessions, relationships, outcomes, or personal achievements. Recognize the impact, consider how these attachments affect your emotional well-being. Are they causing you stress, anxiety, or frustration? 2. Practice mindfulness. Stay present, engage in mindfulness practices such as meditation or mindful breathing. Being present helps you observe your thoughts and feelings without becoming entangled in them. Non-judgmental observation, in mindfulness, practice observing thoughts as they arise without judgment. Acknowledge them and allow them to pass without anchoring your emotions to them. 3. Cognitive reframing. Reframe perspectives, when facing a challenging situation, ask yourself what aspect of this event affects your sense of attachment. Can you reframe how you view the event to reduce its emotional weight? For instance, instead of seeing a job loss as a devastating failure, view it as an opportunity for growth and exploration of new paths. 4. Focus on effort, not outcomes. Emphasize process over result, redirect your focus from outcomes to the effort you can put in. Celebrate hard work, persistence, and learning rather than set goals on with detachment or failure. When setting goals, this helps you create a sense that you can of control the effort, independent but not of the external results. validation. This mindset allows you to work toward your objectives without becoming overly attached to specific outcomes. 5. Embrace impermanence. Recognize the temporary nature of life, reflect on the transient nature of experiences, emotions, and possessions. Understanding that everything is subject to change can foster detachment, helping you appreciate moments without clinging to them. Practice letting go, engaging in practices that require letting go, such as decluttering your space or ending toxic relationships, can reinforce the idea that attachment to physical or emotional possessions ultimately hinders personal growth. 6. Engage in negative visualization. Prepare for potential loss, a stoic practice, Negative visualization involves imagining losing what you value. This exercise can reduce fear of loss and create gratitude for what you have, thereby lowering emotional attachment to those things or individuals. 7. Develop compassionate observation. Witness without judgment, instead of reacting to others' actions emotionally, practice seeing them as someone on their own journey. This compassionate observation fosters a sense of detachment from how others behave or perceive you. 4. Virtue as the highest good, for Stoics, living virtuously, exhibiting qualities like wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance, is the ultimate goal. When you align your actions with your values, you cultivate a sense of integrity and purpose that helps insulate you from the disturbances of daily life. Acting in a manner consistent with your principles brings a deep sense of fulfillment that makes external pressures less bothersome. In Stoic philosophy, the concept of virtue as the highest good is foundational. Stoics believe that true happiness and fulfillment arise from living a life aligned with virtue, rather than pursuing external possessions, status, or temporary pleasures. Understanding and embodying this principle can lead to a profound sense of peace, making it easier to navigate life's challenges without being easily disturbed. Here's a detailed exploration of virtue as the highest good and how it can transform your perspective. 1. Understanding Virtue in Stoicism Definition of virtue, in Stoicism, virtue refers to moral excellence and qualities such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. These virtues are seen as the guiding principles for behavior and decision-making. For cardinal virtues. Wisdom, the ability to discern what is true and to know how to act according to that truth. Courage, the strength to face challenges and fears, persevering in the pursuit of what is right. Justice, fairness and integrity in interactions with others, upholding the rights of individuals and the community. Temperance, self-control and moderation, especially in pleasures and desires, avoiding excess and maintaining balance. 2. Virtue as the only true good. Intrinsic versus extrinsic goods, Stoics argue that while external goods, wealth, health, reputation, might be preferable, 
they are not inherently good. They are subject to variables outside of our control and can be lost or taken away. In contrast, virtue is always within your control and is the only true good because it defines your character and moral worth. Living in accordance with nature, Stoicism teaches that to achieve the ultimate good, one should live in harmony with nature, both human nature and the universe. Virtue aligns with rationality, which Stoics view as the fundamental essence of humanity. By cultivating virtue, you're also aligning with the natural order of the world, leading to fulfillment. 3. The Interconnectedness of Virtues Unity of Virtue Stoics maintain that the virtues are interconnected, possessing one virtue implies the possession of all virtues. For example, a truly wise person must also be just and courageous, as each virtue supports and reinforces the others. Commitment to Continuous Improvement the path to embodying virtue is a lifelong journey. Stoicism encourages self-reflection, continuous learning, and the conscious effort to cultivate virtues in everyday life, acknowledging imperfection while striving for moral excellence. 4. Practicing Virtue in Daily Life To embody the principle of virtue as the highest good, consider the following practices. 1. Self-reflection Engage in regular self-reflection or journaling to examine your thoughts, actions, and decisions. Ask yourself whether your actions align with your values and virtues, and identify areas for growth. 2. Study Stoic Texts Read works by Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and Epictetus. Their writings provide insights into applying virtue in everyday situations, helping you internalize these principles. 3. Set Virtue-Driven Goals When setting personal or professional goals, ensure they are rooted in virtue. For instance, aim to cultivate courage in facing fears or justice in ensuring fairness in your workplace. 4. Practice Mindful Decision-Making In moments of decision, pause to consider which virtue should guide your actions. This practice fosters greater alignment with your values and leads to better outcomes. 5. Embrace challenges as opportunities. View challenges as opportunities to practice and demonstrate virtue. For example, a difficult situation may call for courage and resilience, while a conflict with a coworker might invite the exercise of patience and fairness. 6. Surround yourself with virtuous influences. Engage with individuals who embody moral excellence, as they can inspire and encourage your own growth in virtue. Seek mentors, friends, or communities that prioritize ethical living. 7. Adopt a service-oriented mindset. Focus on how you can contribute positively to the lives of others and your community. Virtuous living often involves selflessness, compassion, and a commitment to the greater good. 5. Benefits of Embracing Virtue as the Highest Good Inner Peace Cultivating virtue leads to a profound sense of inner peace and contentment, independent of external circumstances. When virtue guides your life, you are less likely to be disturbed by external events. Resilience to external disruptions Individuals who prioritize virtue are better equipped to face adversity. Since their sense of self-worth is rooted in character rather than external validation, they can navigate challenges with greater emotional resilience. 5. Negative Visualization A common Stoic practice is negative visualization, which involves imagining the loss of what we cherish or confronting potential misfortunes. This exercise helps reduce fear of the unknown and fosters appreciation for what we have. By mentally preparing for the worst, we can lessen the impact of negative events, allowing us to remain unbothered when challenges arise. Negative visualization is a powerful mental exercise rooted in Stoic philosophy. It involves imagining worst-case scenarios or contemplating the loss of what you value in order to foster gratitude, acceptance, and emotional resilience. This practice can help you appreciate what you have, reduce the fear of potential loss, and ultimately lead to a life where external events, and the distress they may cause, no longer bother you. Here is a detailed explanation of negative visualization, its purpose, and how to effectively incorporate it into your life. 
1. Understanding Negative Visualization Concept, Negative Visualization, Premeditation of Evils, is a technique that encourages individuals to mentally prepare for adversity by vividly imagining the challenges or losses they might face. It's not about fostering pessimism but rather about cultivating a balanced perspective on life's uncertainties. Purpose, the primary goals of negative visualization are to Create appreciation for what you currently have. Reduce anxiety associated with the fear of loss. Foster emotional resilience in the face of adversity. Help cultivate a sense of detachment from external circumstances. 2. The Stoic Background Philosophical roots, the practice of negative visualization is deeply embedded in Stoic philosophy, championed by thinkers such as Epictetus and Seneca. They taught that by contemplating potential hardships, one could develop the emotional fortitude to face them calmly, should they arise. The nature of control, Stoics emphasize the importance of distinguishing between what is within our control and what is not. Negative visualization aligns with this principle by helping you understand that while you cannot control external events, you can control your responses to them. 3. How Negative Visualization Works Sparking gratitude, when you imagine losing something you cherish, be it a loved one, a job, health, or material possessions, you can generate a deeper appreciation for these elements in your life. This gratitude can enhance your overall sense of joy and contentment. Building resilience, by facing the idea of loss in a controlled, reflective manner, you mentally prepare yourself for potential future hardships. This can make you less likely to feel overwhelmed or devastated if such events occur, allowing for a more composed response. Reducing fear, often, fear stems from the unknown. Engaging in negative visualization allows you to confront your fears directly, breaking their power over you. By mentally rehearsing challenging scenarios, you can lessen their psychological burden. 4. Practicing Negative Visualization to effectively incorporate negative visualization into your routine, follow these steps. 1. Set aside time for reflection. Choose a quiet time and place where you can reflect without distractions. This could be during meditation, before bed, or while journaling. 2. Identify what matters. Think about the people, relationships, achievements, and possessions you value most. This may include family, friends, career, health, or personal accomplishments. 3. Visualize specific losses. Close your eyes and create vivid mental images of losing these important aspects of your life. Imagine the feelings, challenges, and consequences that could arise from this loss. Aim for a detailed visualization, what you would feel, how it would impact your daily life, and how you might cope with it. Four. Reflect on your feelings. After visualizing these negative scenarios, take note of your emotional reactions. How does contemplating these losses make you feel? Acknowledge any discomfort that arises without judgment. 5. Reaffirm acceptance. Remind yourself that while loss is a part of life, your core identity and peace of mind are rooted in your values, virtues, and responses rather than external circumstances. Practicing acceptance can bolster your emotional resilience. 6. Practice gratitude. Transition from negative visualization into gratitude by reflecting on what you currently have. Consider writing these things down or expressing them verbally. This practice reinforces the appreciation for your present circumstances. 7. Make it a habit. Aim to practice negative visualization regularly perhaps once a week or during particularly stressful times. Consistent engagement with this practice can create lasting emotional benefits. 6. Mindfulness and Presence, Stoics advocate for living in the present moment and fully engaging in life as it unfolds. By focusing on the here and now, we minimize anxieties about the future and regrets about the past. This mindfulness aids in adopting a more serene perspective, as we learn to respond to circumstances thoughtfully rather than reacting impulsively. Mindfulness and presence are practices that focus on fully engaging with the current moment without judgment or distraction. 
By fostering mindfulness, you can significantly enhance your emotional resilience and well-being, allowing you to navigate life's challenges with greater ease and clarity. Here's an in-depth exploration of mindfulness and presence, their importance, and practical ways to integrate them into your life. 1. Understanding Mindfulness and Presence Definitions Mindfulness Mindfulness refers to the awareness that arises from paying attention to the present moment with intention, without judgment. It means observing your thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations, and the surrounding environment as they arise, while accepting them as they are. Presence Presence relates to being wholly engaged in the current moment. It involves a sense of being fully aware of what is happening around you and within you, free from distractions or preoccupations about the past or future. Origins Both mindfulness and presence have roots in various contemplative traditions, particularly in Buddhism, but have been widely adapted in Western psychology and well-being practices. They are often emphasized in therapeutic settings for reducing stress, anxiety, and depression. 2. The importance of mindfulness and presence. Reducing stress and anxiety, in a world filled with distractions and constant demands, the practice of mindfulness can dramatically lower stress levels. By concentrating on the present, you can decrease the tendency to ruminate over past events or worry about future uncertainties. Enhancing emotional regulation, mindfulness allows you to observe your emotions without being overwhelmed by them. This enhances emotional regulation, making it easier to respond to challenges with clarity and composure. Fostering self-awareness, practicing mindfulness helps you develop a deeper understanding of your thoughts and emotions. This awareness can lead to personal insight and growth, allowing you to identify patterns in your behavior and beliefs. Improving focus and concentration, regular mindfulness practice trains your brain to maintain focus and attention, which can improve productivity and the quality of your work or personal activities. 3. Practicing Mindfulness and Presence Here are practical techniques to cultivate mindfulness and presence. 1. Mindful Breathing How to Practice Set aside a few minutes each day for mindful breathing. Find a quiet spot, sit comfortably, and focus on your breath. Pay attention to the sensation of the air entering and leaving your body. If your mind wanders, gently bring your focus back to your breath without judgment. 2. Body Scan Meditation How to practice, lie down or sit comfortably, and close your eyes. Shift your attention systematically through different parts of your body, starting from your toes and moving to the crown of your head. Notice any sensations, tension, or relaxation. This practice helps anchor you in the present while cultivating body awareness. 3. Mindful Observation How to Practice Choose an object in your environment, such as a plant or a piece of art. Spend a few minutes observing it with full attention. Notice its colors, shapes, and textures. Allow yourself to be fully immersed in this observation, free from distractions.